So here at the Brewer Science, so who are you? My name is uh, Ram Trachur. I am the uh, business development manager for uh, our Carbon Electronics Center. And uh, what we do here is um, uh, Brewer Science is uh, traditionally a lithography uh, material supplier, but more and more as we evolved over the 30 years, we've uh, been getting into uh, semiconductor equipment, uh, we've been selling temporary bonding materials, and now uh, we're also in the business of uh, carbon nanomaterials. And as part of this uh, business unit, uh, we're right now launching our ultra-fast temperature and humidity sensor. This is a fully printed temperature sensor that can uh, sense humidity and temperature uh, uh, very uh, at a very rapid pace. So, so it's real time? It is real time. So I'm going to do a very short demo so that you can see the response time. So the response time is about 40 milliseconds uh, or less. So I'm going to talk to the sensor and it's going to pick up the humidity from my speech. Testing one, two, three. So you can see it's not detecting a sound, but it is detecting my speech, the humidity from my speech. So you can see I said testing one, two, three, and these signals correspond to the speech pattern. So one of the real applications for this is uh, human detection, like was security and speech. So in a traditional device, it, it uses voice recognition. And then when you talk to a device to use voice recognition, I can use a recording and say, oh, that is me speaking, but it, I might not actually be there. But here, if I combine a humidity sensor with a voice recognition software, you'll get an actual humidity si signal from my speech. So it tells me that, oh, that is the real person that's talking and not a recording. So that's one application, but temperature and humidity sensor can be applied to several devices. I mean, temperature and humidity sensor on its own is an environmental sensor, and it can work with other sensors uh, to give uh, as a, a, a compensation, because sensors traditionally drift with temperature and humidity, and these gives comp uh, compensation signals. Do different people have different uh, levels of humidity, or? Yes, the, it, it senses uh, humidity between 20% and 80%, that's the standard, but it can extend to the full uh, relative humidity, and it can also measure absolute humidity because it's integrated with the temperature sensor. So what are you showing here on, your, on, the, on yeah. the wall? So here uh, we're highlighting um, different business units in Brewer Science. Uh, uh, traditionally our business has been a semiconductor material supplier for semiconductor manufacturing. We have an advanced packaging unit uh, for temporary bonding materials and uh, uh, equipment. And we have a semiconductor equipment division, uh, carbon electronics. We have uh, a strong presence in LED and energy devices and uh, we supply materials to the MEM sensors and display market. And here it shows a highlight of our Carbon Electronics Center. We do materials design, materials R&D. Uh, we, we have a full-fledged uh, applications lab uh, with several printing equipments, and we do uh, engineering services for uh, biomedical companies, uh, uh, communication companies, and, and all, the, all the other uh, customers to uh, do uh, carbon-based printing and print electronic services. And then we also make several devices like the temperature and humidity sensor. And these show some of the carbon-based devices that we've done. And uh, these are, and the next poster is our uh, carbon-based electronic materials for different printing processes. So what do you think about the, this conference? I think uh, this has been a really good show uh, for Brewer Science. We've had uh, both the material suppliers, equipment suppliers, and customers that we work with uh, that have been uh, 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 heavy traffic at the booth. So uh, I think it's a very good place for us to meet uh, all of our uh, uh, people at once.